good morning welcome back to the channel uh, it's my last run today before the triathlon on Sunday uh, it's just a 30 minute run and uh, we'll talk a little bit about my thoughts before the race on Sunday um, how I'm feeling about it so I'll get the run done and then I'll talk to you in a bit Hey guys, run's now done. Uh, finished the run this morning, it's now in the afternoon. I had a few things to do this afternoon. Didn't really film too much of the run because it wasn't a very scenic run. It was only just over two miles and basically a mile from here. Is to, it takes you a mile to get anywhere decent, back to the canal path from here. So um, yeah, it was no point really filming, just me running around some streets. Um, but yeah, it was okay, I did just like just over two miles. Um, in around 30 minutes, just easing down now, um, just sort of holding on to the fitness that we've built and uh, making sure I don't go in uh, rusty uh, to Sunday. Obviously Sunday is my first super sprint triathlon, um, the 8th of September that'll be, I've begun training uh, May the 14th was my first training session which was a 20 minute walk. Um, and then I've built up since then. I've done since May the 14th, I've done 57 hours of training with the longest week being 5 hours and 12 minutes. Uh, just looking through training peaks now and all the training that we've done with my coach. Um, I think there was, I can't remember how many training sessions there were, but all in all, totals out at 57 hours. Um, the longest week being 4.5 hours or 5, what did I just say? 5 hours something, uh, which is good. For a super sprint triathlon, I think that's a pretty good amount of training. Uh, it's, it's a 400 meter swim, a 20 kilometer bike ride, and then a two and a half kilometer run, um, or a 400 meter swim, uh, 12 mile bike ride, and then one and a half mile run. So it's not a it's not a long race. Um, kind of thinking it's going to take me somewhere around two hours, uh, maybe 15 minutes swimming. About an hour and a half on the bike and then 20 minutes running roughly somewhere around that it's really um, just the, you know the bike is obviously the um, the main leg and I uh, wasn't too worried about stepping up to the sprint distance because I think I could have done it uh, I think it was a 750 meter swim a 20 kilometer bike and then a 5k run I think I could have done that but you know I'm at a stage right now where I don't need to go crazy with what I'm doing and the most important thing on Sunday is I come out of that race wanting more and not being scarred, not enjoying the experience and whilst I think I could have stepped up and done the sprint triathlon, I would most definitely have finished last and last by some distance, which is fine, I don't really mind that but in my head I need to come out of that race having enjoyed it, not beat up about oh I came last. And you know, if I came last by a distance, there would be no one there when I finished. Wouldn't have really been an enjoyable finish. You know, if there's no one there cheering you or anything other than your family, then uh, it's not necessarily the the best experience you're going to have. So that's why I've chosen to to do the super sprint. Um, but you know, this is uh, this isn't what the you know this isn't the end goal or anything. This is just one one step uh, in the journey. Um, Obviously, the end goal is to do an Ironman in two years. Um, this is, you know, there's no time scale on how quickly I can do a sprint triathlon or, you know, anything like that. It's just a case of I've had a goal for the last three months to do this, and this has kept me kept me focused on my training up until I went away on holiday, and then haven't had the greatest couple of weeks. Uh, I have to be honest with you, um, hasn't been the greatest couple of weeks. Put on about four pounds when I was on holiday. And then that's all gone now, and I'm I'm just 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 about to uh, go back into the 22 stones. So I'm just I'm literally hanging on 23 nothing at the moment, uh, which is three pounds and sorry three stone and two pounds gone, or 40 pounds uh, 44 pounds. So hopefully by race day I can lose sort of 45 pounds total, which would be amazing. Uh, obviously still a long way to go, but yeah, this video is just going to be talking a little bit about my thoughts the race so I'm feeling good about it uh, I feel like I've done the training I've done enough training 
Um, we've had a few, we've had a few stumbling blocks the last couple of weeks. Obviously, lost a bit of motivation for training. I was ill, and then we had the wetsuit problem, which for anyone who follows the Facebook page, so where I do the blog, uh, will know that we couldn't find a wetsuit anywhere between me and my coaches. Um, we contacted various, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Swimming coaches and uh, wetsuit hire places, but nobody seemed to know if there was a triathlon, uh, if there was a wetsuit, even a surfing wetsuit that uh, that would fit me. Um, obviously, I've lost 45 pounds, but I'm still a big guy. Uh, so, um, yeah, I eventually managed to uh, to get a a wetsuit. It's an Orca TRN size 11, which is the biggest size they do. And the uh, the size guide online says that it won't fit me. I decided to risk it and see if it would fit. And uh, luckily, it just about fits. It's very tight, um, but I can get into it. And for a 400 meter swim. You know, if I can get into it, I'll be all right. I'm going to the quarry tomorrow night uh, for a swim in the open water, just because I haven't swam in the open water for a couple of years, and uh, just want to just get a little bit comfortable with it and swim in the wetsuit once. So I'm looking forward to that. I love the quarry, uh, absolutely love it there. It's an amazing place where I go, Cromhall Quarry in South Gloucestershire. Amazing place. It's just, yeah, love it there. Terrifying, terrifying because it's so deep um, but yeah love it and yeah I can't wait to get in and swim and um, I, like I said I'll be a bit nervous about that but uh, I'll be fine so yeah for the race I, I'm feeling good about it um, a few nerves beginning to build up more in terms of making sure I remember everything on race day making sure I remember to bring my license and uh, making sure I bring all the uh, number my number and my my race number and my race kit and everything they want you to wear your timing chip you know there's a lot of things you've got to organize it's very different to obviously i'm used to running marathons and things you turn up with a pair of trainers and pin your number onto your chest it's uh there's nothing too detailed with that but no with um with uh, this is um yeah a lot more you've got to sort out in the build up and but no I, i'll be fine um you know i'm lucky that i've got uh, a coach who I'm sure I'm going to speak to a lot over the next few days and uh, make sure I'm ready for it. Um, diet wise, I'm not really focusing crazy amount on carb loading, you know, it's such a small um, distance that you don't need to go throwing in a few hundred grams of carbs the day before or whatever. Uh, you know, my, you know, just up my calories to around two and a half or three thousand on Saturday and that'll give me plenty of fuel on Sunday. I am unfortunately having to work quite late on Saturday, which isn't ideal, but um, you know, just one of those things. It will be, it will be all right. Uh, get out of work, get straight to bed, make sure I'm ready before I go to work on Saturday. I get everything ready, um, so that on Sunday I've literally just got to put it into the car, or maybe even already have it put put in the car, um, so I can just go. Right, I'm going to leave this video here, guys. Um, yeah, thank you for everybody who's been wishing me well for the race and everything and um, I'm looking forward to it I'm going to be doing a video on the race day and um, yeah so that'll be the next video and I shall see you guys in that one